All right, so for my green hair, I'm using a hairspray that I found at Walmart in the Halloween section. And I had to open both the door and the window of my bathroom because it is so strong, so make sure that if you use this, you have a lot of ventilation. Since I'm doing this in the mirror, I used this reference photo of Heath Ledger, and I'm using a lip liner and just mapping out exactly where I want the scars to go. Using some rigid collodion, I'm going through and just coating where I mapped out the scars. The purpose of this product is to shrink the skin so that it looks like it's recessed into your face. You want to be very careful with this stuff, it's pretty potent. But I did a couple layers of it, fixed my hair a little bit, and yeah, so this is what it looks like after about three or four coats. Now taking my new favorite special effects product, it is third degree silicone. I mixed equal parts of the A and B jars and I am just smoothing this around the scars that I created with the rigid collodion. This is going to help give a really jagged kind of scarring look and it's going to make it look even deeper into your face. As it's starting to set, I'm using a finger to just smooth out the outside edge so that it blends into my skin a little bit better and looks a little bit more realistic. And this is what it should look like before you put any makeup on. To create the forehead wrinkles in the paint, I am taking my brush and raising my eyebrows and then just brushing lightly down over top, making sure not to go actually into the wrinkles. Now I'm just going to take that white paint, just start to make funny faces in the mirror to create wrinkles in different places of my face, and then just kind of really buffing it in as messy as I can since his makeup was very splotchy and messy, so I'm not really making any sort of rhyme or reason with it. Taking some makeup remover, I'm just going to smear this in random places in the face paint just to mess it up and make it look a little bit more worn in. I'm using a very dark purple grease paint to act as a base for my eyeshadow, so I'm just messily putting this on here. Literally the best part about this whole uh, makeup is that you can be as messy as you want. The messier, the better. Like, you look crazier, the messier that it is. Set that I'm using a black eyeshadow this is also going to help add depth to your look so I'm just going through and just covering everything bringing it outside of the lines and just making it look as messy as humanly possible I'm using some powder to take away the shine and to set the third degree you could use red lipstick, but I used some red grease paint and just added a layer to my lips. And then I also used that same red paint and started filling in the inside of the scars. Here's where you get to be really messy again. I took that same red paint and I'm just smearing it all across my scars, blending it into the lips and just really making everything look tragic.
Spot wanted to give me some trouble, but I'm just touching up any extra shiny silicone. And that's it. This is my final look for the Joker. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. And I will see you guys later.